This video is about electronic timer uh, delay automatic on timer testing and powering up. In the last video I have just uh, reverse engineered the circuit. Uh, you can see this circuit. This is the same circuit which we reverse engineered in the last video. And uh, <clears throat> now we are going to test this circuit and we will test this circuit. Uh, we will power it up over here we will connect the power 12 volt or 9 volt which is available with us here are the two pads where we will connect the two wires and then we will power this up uh, 12 volt or 9 volt which is available with us uh, we will power this up and then we will see the behavior this green light should come and then that after the time completion the red time should come and the relay will be clicked and it will change the contact the switching will be occurred over here on these three pads I will show you later on uh, first we will connect two wires to the power uh, terminals here I'm just going to show everything step by step so that you will understand everything I'm going to solder first wire and then later on I will solder the other wire also over here for the power supply connections we can give AC power or DC power the polarity is not sensitive because there is a, a bridge rectifier in the circuit and also smoothing capacitor a bridge rectifier you can see over here and the smoothing capacitor as well so AC or DC power we can supply and it is not um, sensitive for polarity we can give DC or AC uh, so I am going to solder the second wire as well. Now the other wire had been soldered and now we are separating both wires so that they will not create a short circuit. Uh, this is completed. Uh, now two wires uh, which are nearly the same color we connected and now I am going to show you. On the meter I will measure the voltage. Uh, here we will use a power supply adapter 9 volt or 10 volt something like that to power this circuit up we can test it from 8 volt to 15 volt something uh, because uh, this circuit can work on now we connected on common and volt and selected the meter on voltage DC voltage uh, here is the adapter you can see and I'm going to check it internal is a positive the outer is the negative so I'm going to check the voltage 9.67 volt you can see if we will reverse the props even uh, it will show the voltage but there will be a minus sign you can see on the meter screen the minus sign tells that the props are not uh, properly connected now we are connecting it properly and show you that there is no sign the no sign means it's positive and it is telling that the reading is okay and the polarity is also okay the polarity is not a problem over here but just uh, for the demonstration purpose I just tell, told a little bit about this uh, now we are going to power this up uh, the wires I'm going to prepare for the connection uh, we will internal connection we are making with the red wire and the orange wire I'm going to uh, split it in two pieces so that we will connect to the adapter outside uh, pin or socket or some somewhat uh, like this we will just twist this wire uh, now you can see the circuit is on both LEDs are coming it means that it had been completed its time as well as the power is coming the green and the red now I'm going to switch this off again um, and we'll show you how it is behaving now it's off power had been removed from and now I will show you again now I'm going to show you how the relay connections will be for that we will set the meter on the continuity uh, here is the continuity and this button we can select the continuity now while we will co connect to props the beep we will listen as well as the zero reading we are getting on uh, this setting and now the power is off I'm going to check on the relay terminals the three terminals uh, one is common one is normally open this is normally closed we can get the reading as well as a beep uh, so it means that these two are connected together and this is what is you know normally closed this one these two terminals are not connected 
while the time will not be completed these two will be connected together and while the time will be completed these two will be connected the normally open so here is the switching these uh, normally open terminals we will use in our circuit later on we can use even the normally close also but this depends upon the situation um, where we are using this uh, situation is somewhat uh, your requirement and with the experience one can gain, gain the knowledge that where he will he or she will use uh, the NC and NO uh, now we are going to energize the circuit again and I will show you how this, this, this circuit is behaving now I'm energizing so very little time uh, this completed its time first green came and then red came it means that the circuit had a very very much little delay had been set uh, now I'm going to while I'm going to check in the power on state and time completed uh, these two has no continuity at the moment the normally close normally open have continuity now now normally open you can see there is a continuity so the relay had been changed the state the switch had been completed over here and the timer had been on now we are going to set the time for this one the time you can you need a small screwdriver to adjust this potentiometer this one mega ohm potentiometer we are adjusting uh, we are just turning it a little bit this was in a very very much uh, downside now we are a little bit uh, opening that potentiometer so that it will make a time now we are resetting this timer so now you can see the power LED green had been come and it will take a little while to come the red LED and to switch the relay it will take a little time just I'm not going to um, forward this video uh, for the sake of understanding um, at the moment the video is running in its real time and uh, just for your understanding that the timer is working so this is the time which we need this is the delay automatic on time which we need uh, for our circuit uh, somewhere such circuits are very useful where you need to make a delay uh, switch on delay uh, so that a system should on after power up so this will take a little while uh, to come the green LED uh, the red LED and as well as the relay will be switched so bear with me and this this will take a little time this needs a little delay to switch this on the circuit so let us see it will take more than a minute uh, the delay automatic uh, delay on automatic are there and delay off automatic circuits are also there but this is you can see now as a green LED, red LED had been come and this relay had been switched uh, so here from here you can make the adjustment from a few seconds to uh, a few minutes up to six seven minutes we can adjust uh, with this uh, c c configuration I mean with these values of resistor and capacitors uh, if your requirement is not completely fulfilling with this uh, uh, setting the parameters you can replace this capacitor with a bigger value for bigger delay mm, just I show this um, this in this video I just demonstrated this circuit so that you will understand what the circuit is be is doing and how it is behaving uh, one can make this circuit I mean to say one can put this circuit in another system that will be in the next video I will demonstrate this thing now you can uh, go to my blog uh, the blog is underneath and in the blog I demonstrate a little bit more detail about this uh, this is for the beginners actually such a system I just explained the specialist they know very well these things uh, but for the beginners who are just uh, starting in electronics uh, such circuit uh, demonstration will be helpful and uh, if you like this video uh, please give a thumbs up and uh, if you don't like please uh, do a thumbs down no problem and uh, please share this video with your friends and also comment uh, on the video so that I will reply on those comments uh, if anything you are not understanding and be about this uh, thanks for watching keep on watching stay tuned stay tuned subscribe and like uh, share with your friends and also stay tuned for the next parts